Did you get ready in the dark or something? Cause you look like a beautiful nightmare. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. My name is Beauty Fad and we're about to do a wig review on Otre's Nisha wig in the style 203. Today's video is going to be a collaboration with Creative Designs by Criticia. Please check her channel out guys. I love her channel. She has a variety of things on her channel including wigs, makeup, cooking, shopping. She even does a What's Up Wednesday. So don't forget to check out her video after you view mine. All of her information will be down in the description box. So if you're interested in this unit, please stay tuned. So this is Nisha in the packaging. Again, she's in the style 203. Um, the stock card has all the colors that she comes in, what it looks like in the front and the back, as well as the color that I selected. And this is what she looks like coming straight out of the box. So as you can see, she has a yakky texture. And here is the lace. It goes from ear to ear. It has a middle part, comb on each side, and then your comb in the back. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw her on so I can see how it fits and it actually fits very comfortable. Um, the tabs go right to my ear so it's a perfect fit for my head and I have a medium sized head. So before I cut the tabs out I just want to see what it looks like. Um, get her combed out to see how it styles, whether it tangles or sheds, and so far no tangling, no shedding. But I wanted to um, give you a full view of the length, and she goes right there to just below my breasts. So um, I guess this is nowadays called a medium length. So what I'm going to do is just get it pulled back so I can cut the lace off. As you can see, I'm not doing anything special with the lace. I'm just going to cut it right there at the hairline. I don't plan on doing any baby hair for this um, unit. I'm just going to cut the lace off and lay it down. Um, I don't think you need baby hair with every style. Of course, you can put some baby hair if that's what you want, um, but I'm not going to do it with this unit. Um, what I was doing is trying to see whether or not the tabs were in front of my hairline because when I adhere it down, I do not want to adhere it to um, the hair at my edges. So that's what I was doing. And I'm just going to take a comb, take the dryer and make sure I lay this baby down. And from the middle of the side of my head to the top, I just spray the um, Got To Be Spray right there at the edge of the hairline and use the comb to make sure that it um, sticks down. And then I'm just going to repeat the same process on this side. Now for those of you that are new to my channel, I do not adhere every unit the same. I don't adhere every lace front unit the same. I don't even have a routine for laying down um, any unit. Um, it just kind of depends on what the lace is like, what the hairline is like whenever I get to the unit. I never do the same thing twice. So um, just don't take this set in stone. This is just how I am adhering this unit. Thank you. 
I keep a paper towel or a cotton ball with me when I'm doing the um, spray down um, lace units because I just, you know, want to catch it from running down in my makeup and in my eyes. Then I take a cotton ball with some alcohol on it and I get all of the um, this product that ran down the sides of my face off so it doesn't break my skin out. And then I just take my foundation and I go over that hairline so I can blend everything in and make it look like it's mine. Then I'm going to make this part more visible by using my wax stick and my curlers. If you want information on this curler, it's actually a good one. It's a six in one curler. Um, so I'm going to insert a clip and the information will be down in the description box with a link. But um, I just flat the hair around the part so it's more visible and then I add my makeup to it. So now let's see what we got. I'm going to comb all the hair to the front and let's just see what the styling process is like. Um, you can't really put any curls to this unit. So you kind of just got to finger it, finger it into the style that came on the stock card and just mess with it until you get it looking how you want it to look. But remember, this is a yakky unit. It is supposed to be a, a um, like a thick mane so you don't want to flatten the unit too much you just want to just style it until you get it to look like what it wants what you want it to look like on you to shape your face all right guys so let's talk about miss nisha baby miss nisha is all the way yakky okay this is a synthetic yakky wig okay she is not wanting to be tamed but as you can see we tamed miss thing we tamed her honey because she had to be put into perspective now i will give it to her she is beautiful look at that ain't that gorgeous oh my goodness this is gorgeous, like, look at that man, girl. <laughs> she is gorgeous. Think about the pictures you could take with her. Give it to them all day, sir, like. Girl, please, look at the pictures that you could take with her. She is gorgeous. I mean, if I was the type of woman that could grow my natural hair long and let it take its own color naturally, this is how I would want my mane to look. This is beautiful. I love her. Thick and sexy. And you see this thing on the side from the side this is what you get and let me let you see this thing from the back is she banging y'all what's she doing so that's her from the front oops the side and the back and she's still popping cute but now that we don't talked about some looks with miss thing honey let's talk about the cons of miss thing so as you as you saw the wig is constructed well like i put it on my head i didn't have any problems it fit perfectly it is big head friendly but if you have a medium-sized head like me it fits 
perfectly, okay? If you have a tiny head, you're going to have to do some maneuvering because it barely, like, went over my ear. So here's my ear, and the tab stopped right there at my ear. So all I had to do was cut my ears out and then glue this baby down with some, um, with some gots to be. Now, I was originally going to try to not even glue her down, like, I was just going to see if she was one of those wigs you can pop on because it's secure. You know, the lace is tight enough to be secure, but no, she's not one of them. You're going to have to secure the tabs down, okay? Um, even with this ear. So you can see, you literally need to secure her down, okay? So whether you're going to use some actual glue, some gots to be glue uh, spray or whatever you're going to use, you are going to need to tame her down. Now the stock card said that she can hold heat up to 400 degrees, but I had my curler on the 300 setting because it's a two setting curler and you at the first setting it goes up to 300 at the second setting it goes to 410 and i had her on i have her on 300 and it was sizzling when i was just trying to um tame the the wax down so i say don't put any heat on her i wouldn't put any heat on her i started to test it to see if i could curl it but i was like you know what i think i might mess the hair up because i could tell how it was sizzling when i was sealing the part down so i would not put any heat on it because at 300 degrees it didn't want to it didn't want to uh take you the know heat what? i'm one of them people i want to see so let's let me just show you let's do a show and tell how about that so i have it on my first setting see that's the second setting so oops okay so it's back on the first setting and let's just see oh I don't think so y'all uh-uh look and that's at 300 mm -mm. so I would not put anything on let's put that back because we don't need that showing. But anyway, so that's really the only con is that it cannot take any heat. If you wanted to curl this, uh, it's a no-no. Um, as far as shedding, I'm not getting any shedding. I'm not getting any tangling. Like, it's not a tangly wig. This wig doesn't tangle. It, it's not shedding. No hair is falling out. So I can't say that's a con. There is no smell. I'm not, I didn't have any trouble installing. Here's the part, a close-up of the part. So I love the, um, the lace. It was easy to um, seal down. I didn't have any problems with this part. It looks very nice and natural. I really can't say a lot of stuff bad about this wig. I can't. I love it. I love how it's styled. It came just like it was supposed to. It looks like the stock card. Hold on. Right. So I don't have anything bad to say about her. I actually really love her. So that's all I have for you today, guys, on my review on Otre's Nisha wig in the style 203. Again, she is in the color DRFF2 Butterscotch, and the link to this unit will be down in the description box. And guys, don't forget to check out Creative Designs with Curticia. She does all types of videos. She has makeup, hair, shopping, designing. She has all kinds of things on her channel, and I know you'll enjoy it. And when you get over there, tell her Beauty Fat sent you. All right, you guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to give your girl a big thumbs up so I'll know that you like my video. Drop a comment down in the bottom and tell me what your thoughts are. And as always, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel and show your support for the Beauty Fat team. Thanks again for joining, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.